All right, America, welcome back. I am Rich Valdez sitting in for John Tobacco and Frank Morano today on Liquid Lunch. And our guest is Alan Tonelson. Alan Tonelson is the founder of Reality Check. And he blogs about a number of different policy positions and uh, I, topics. But the one that we're talking about right now is we're circling back to impeachment. I, my gut reaction, my, my initial response was there's no smoking gun. What is going on with the Democrats? Why are they hanging their hat on this phone call? But that was just me. Let's go to Alan. Well, I was a Trump voter last election. I have no doubt I'll be a Trump voter this election. So keep that in mind when I say that I have a sneaking suspicion that the Democrats are now pushing impeachment because they're really not convinced they can win the general election any other way. Oh, hold on. So why would they be convinced they can't win? They have every, every policy uh, is in their benefit, right? They've got the Green New Deal. They're the ones mm -hmm. that are going to shut down different industries to save the planet. How could that be? Because none of these policies, which are being adopted by more and more Democratic candidates, including mainstream candidates, uh, because they're facing such pressure from a hyper-energized Democratic left, which is going to dominate primary voting and primary caucus going, that they have no choice. And the problem is that even though these are stances that they'll likely need to take in some form to win that nomination, they're probably poison for the general. Because the United States, I do think it shifted somewhat to the left on various economic issues and on various social issues too. But I don't think it shifted nearly far to the left as these Democratic uh, slash progressives think it has. All right, so with that in mind, is this suicide? Are the Democrats playing suicide with 2020 or are they just um, mailing it in focused on 2024, maybe trying to push a Gavin Newsom. What are your thoughts? I don't think it's entirely suicidal because even Trump supporters have to acknowledge this is a president who pushes the bounds. This is a, a, a president who doesn't exactly have scrupulous respect for political norms and policy norms and possibly legal norms. He certainly plays it very fast and loose. And so there is a school of thought that I take seriously that Speaker Pelosi in particular, who seems to be still in charge of this democratic operation in the House of Representatives, thinks that the longer these various investigations last, the likelier that either a smoking gun is found, something close to it is found, or the cumulative impact of more and more discoveries of Trump trans of Trump's transgressions will finally register on the electorate and convince them that however much they might be in sync with him regarding policy, they're so exhausted from this endless torrent of scandal after scandal, controversy after controversy, that they want something more conventional. So with that being said, if, if it's not entirely suicidal for the Democrats mm -hmm. to do this, then it means they, they think they've got a shot. They think they may have an opportunity to take out Trump uh, based on these ideas that are not even resonating well with, with the electorate, with the people, with, mm -hmm. even with part of their base. What is their play? How do they seal the deal? Is it going to be continue to beat the impeachment drum or are they going to continue to attack him? through the media. I think that's clearly the decision that they've made and that includes continuing to attack him through the mainstream media because the mainstream media clearly is so vitriolically anti-Trump that Democrats and any Trump opponents including Republicans who don't like him and there's a very influential slice of the conservative movement that clearly doesn't they can count on these reporters and these editors and these publishers to be on their side and to tout every single allegation that they make, however absurd or however credible. And I think, again, I think Pelosi and folks around her are counting on just this continuing flood of charges and charges and charges, true or not, serious or not, that's finally going to sort of break public patience with Trump, finally going to exhaust the 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 public's acceptance of him and push them over the top just because something is not is is an action that's not suicidal doesn't mean it's a great bet but i think this is what they're clearly playing for now they they have very little else All right so it seems to me and i think you're right i think the democrats are playing for keeps 
They're trying to beat Trump at every angle. At every turn, they're mm. trying to figure out a way to damage his credibility or make him look incompetent. That's mm. their goal mm. because they've realized that they, you know, political science, I think, teaches us mm -hmm. that a president with a stable economy thus far hasn't been removed by the electorate. Mm, right. So now they're thinking, can we undo the will of the people right. with this impeachment? And they're treating it much like a recall, like mm, you would in a right. state that has a recall election. And I think part of the um, what we talked about earlier is the uninformed voter uh, that's not an informed patriot. It, they're the ones that are kind of contributing, adding fuel to the fire. Mm -hmm. But is there enough of them, and I think that's the bet that they're hedging, is there mm -hmm. enough people that will just have a gut reaction visceral reaction to say I don't like Donald Trump I'm not gonna vote for him I don't know and I guess that questions up in the air but Alan Tomlinson mm -hmm. uh, 30 seconds how do we find you uh, thanks so much I'm at www.alantonelson t-o-n-e-l-s-o-n dot wordpress dot com and I hope everybody will visit early and often excellent make sure you check out Alan Tonelson on his website his blog is reality check and up next, we've got our very own Liquid Lunch, Nico Romano, coming in for the sports highlights of the week. I'm Rich Valdez. This is Liquid Lunch. Stay tuned.